If you're a high school student, having a consistent workout routine seems impossible, but I finally found the routine that allows me to excel in school but also live a healthy, happy lifestyle because working out makes me so happy. Here's what has actually worked for me. Hi friends, let's go to the gym. It's honestly taken me some time to refine my workout routine as a busy high school student, but I think I finally have a good flow to it. I use the app Tone and Sculpt by Chrissy Sella for my workouts. Currently have a free trial and I think I'm gonna continue it because I really like it. The weird paradox that comes with exercise is that it actually gives more energy opposed to taking it away. I get super motivated to do my schoolwork or work on the YouTube channel after I hit the gym because I hit my midday slump typically at 3 p.m. So going to the gym after school has actually been a perfect arrangement for me. It just allows me to blow off some steam and reset for a new mini day. I like to view my days as mini days. So my mornings in school are my first day and after school is my second day where I have the opportunity to completely detach from school and work on myself and my social media business and of course I have to do homework after school but I try to not really let it be a large part of my after school routine. I have felt literally so freaking anxious that it hurts for the last two hours. I need to go to the gym. Like I already prayed about it but like now I need to go do something about this and hopefully feel better. I don't get that anxious super often but sometimes I will and it literally like my heart is just racing. Y'all have to get what I mean when I say this. Like you know when you have a constant like rating of how your mood is just like in your head you're like oh my energy is at this level my energy is at like this level so new environment new space new energy after finishing this workout let's go so yesterday i talked about resetting right after school to prepare for a second mini day well today i completely disregarded that and it wrecked my mental health you can call this coping mechanism healthy or unhealthy but having my mom send me to the gym solved my problems my head just felt so much more clear if you're wondering what i listened to at the gym. I listen to a ton of podcasts and audiobooks. It uplifts me and really inspires me. Recently, I've been listening to more niche business podcast interviews over general personal growth ones to keep on learning about entrepreneurship. Listen to whatever helps you clear your mind and motivate you. If it's rap music, go listen to that. I personally just prefer informational media because I find it like really entertaining. It was so freaking nice in the gym today because it was 8.30 a.m. in the morning during winter break where the gym is relatively empty. To be honest, Honest, filming at the gym this week has been a struggle for me. The gym is super busy and when I set up my tripod, I definitely attract attention, which increases the baseline anxiety most people get from working out in a communal space. Like gym anxiety is real. Even without filming, I feel a lot of people are watching me, so filming just magnifies any insecurities I already have, but I think I'm getting better at whipping out the big tripod and filming in public, which is good for my confidence. After my upper body workout, I brought my stuff down to the tables at my gym and did some deep work. I created my personal website on Squarespace. Go to AnnieLong.co to check out the finished website. Speaking on the topic of deep work, the book Deep Work by Cal Newport changed my life and productivity. Deep work is the ability to focus without distraction on a cognitively demanding task. If you have hard subjects in school, this is literally going to help you study so much better. Like this really helped me increase my grades and also be much more productive on this YouTube channel. I'm giving away three copies of this book. All you need to do to enter the giveaway is text me at 617-404-9641 do the deep work and you'll automatically be entered i recently realized i'm really passionate about giving away books on this channel because yeah i could give away like a perfume or like some makeup stuff but i want to give away stuff that has genuinely changed my life my mission on this channel is to help you guys excel in your lives and a lot of that involves productivity it's really easy for your mental space to start being completely protruded by tests and if you're maybe more popular <laughs> than like drama i don't know like my friends that get the best grades aren't necessarily the ones that are most creative and fulfilled in their lives or healthy for that matter. So to consciously fend off the protruding spirit of the public school system, I think the most powerful thing you can do is work out every day. And that could literally be a 10 minute workout. Just telling yourself, I'm hitting the gym because I am passionate about self-care. And this can be an at-home workout, it's gonna be a walk outside, but do not let school take that away from you. Like don't let the identity of being a busy student take away your right to health and self-development. I feel like this is an appropriate time for me to express my opinions on the public school system. I feel like most people hate it, so I won't be that radical for sharing my opinions, but this might get intense. From what I've observed from my friends, students, family friends, is that school is this force in our lives that's constantly fighting for more energy and focus from us. It's like the eight hours you're required to be in the building is like just the minimum. Your health conditions are based around being a student. Like staying up till 3 a.m. to study for a test is like a 
source of pride. It's it's a lifestyle. People get complacent against just like not living their best healthy lifestyle. And I don't think we should have to like wait till we're in college to start living a more healthy lifestyle and prioritizing ourselves. Last day of this video and week, I don't think that I'm gonna do a deep work session at the gym today because my deep work daily highlight for today, like the thing I really wanna get done is filming a TikTok for a brand deal. I have to send it in today and I need to film it today. And I feel like the earlier I do it, the better. I'm so excited to hit the gym. I'm wearing an all black outfit, all gym shirt. I think it looks like sleek. I just love wearing black at the gym. And exciting news today, I have a call with the gym shark and I'm not gonna say too much about it, but it's not like because I'm an influencer, it's for something else. Yeah, I feel like I'm still a fake teenager. Like I don't have the rights of driving on my own, doing a lot of things. So I am so excited for once I get my license. I will be driving to the gym probably at unusual times. Content will be fun. But I don't like having that mindset. Like, let me like wait. Like, oh, it's gonna be like really nice when blank. Like, I'm trying to be satisfied with what I have, but I'm just like thinking about it. For the time being, my mom has to drive me everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Don't distract the driver. <laughs> Guys, I want to start trying to make friends at the gym, but I have no clue where to start. The gym is probably the best place to find like-minded people that are into self-improvement and just bettering themselves. Like, here are the variables I'd factor for. If I see a girl at the gym more than three times in one week, I should go talk to her. The reason why I'm limiting this filter for girls is I don't want, like, guys to think that I'm, like, trying to pick them up at the gym. That's not the vibe we're going for. I'm gonna try this next week. We'll see how it goes, and I'll let you know if I make any gym friends. Okay, so my mom came to pick me up earlier, so I'm gonna end my workout. Also, I was looking around the gym and I literally haven't found like a person I wanna talk to. So maybe better luck another night. Ah, uh, now that I'm home, gotta film this TikTok. The brand gave me like two huge boxes of clothes that I haven't opened yet. But that is the end of today's video. I want to remind you guys that I'm giving away three of the deep work books. So all you have to do is text me at 617-404-964 one and you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway and I'll see you guys in the next one.